What's up everybody? Blue Gabe here. We're in Kujo Key. Just got done with lobster season. Getting bait. We're headed out dolphin fishing. Got Mr. Will who y'all are going to see in the show very soon. And got Abram. Got Jake and Luke and Mason. We're headed out that away, about 20 miles dolphin fishing. Pretty excited. We ate a huge dinner last night, swordfish, lobster steak. Tonight we're gonna be eating dolphin. Look at the bait though. You always wanna make sure you don't take any little snappers with you. It's illegal. So we pick through and pull out all the snappers. What he's talking about with the little snapper is the little snapper get caught in a trap too. So when you catch them, you better turn them loose because they're illegal. So tell them you'll see us out there. We'll see y'all out there. Next stop, 20 miles that way. All right, y'all, we're on the hunt. We got the birds. Now all we need is a fish. That broad's got a fish on. Fish hey. on. Hard. Get him. I hate to tell you, but he's about a mile out there. He's still going. Just laying there. Good. Don't. First fish of the day. Moose, why you look like you're sleeping standing up? Is this your first tuna? No, I've caught some before. Come on now, give me some. Be positive. No Shark, pump him, pump him, pump him, real, 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 real. Go crank that fish. Pull him up. Dude, there are so many sharks. This is ridiculous. Yes, that's my favorite fish to eat. Yes. Yes. <laughs> to some, that might just be a skipjack tuna. But y'all wait to see what I make out of this little skipjack tuna tonight for dinner. Hold him up so we get a good look at him on the camera. That little fella. Now, would you would you recommend people eating them? Absolutely. A lot of people won't eat a skipjack, but as Again, far as too. I'm concerned, he's as good as a yellow fin, blue fin, black fin, purple fin. I was gonna say purple fin. What's the odds? Uh uh let's put him in the big yeti club. Bleed him. Oh, you're gonna bleed him. 30 miles offshore to Keys, and a random shark swims up and tries to eat our tuna. Let's let him take a nice ice bath. Super important when you catch these fish, keep them fresh. As soon as you catch them, bleed them and stick them in the ice brine. Just laying them on top of ice doesn't do anything. I mean, literally nothing. Put them in an ice brine. Oh, we're eating good tonight. Hey, bro, you know this is the second fishing trip in a row where you've copied my shorts. Fish on, fish on. Double header. Double header. Let me help you. Hold on one sec. Son, you just, I, I think you just hooked an even, even bigger one. Okay, what kind of sharks are eating these two now? Here? I don't know what kind they are, but I don't want to. I don't want to get in and tell you. I was suggesting we hold that camera and we get to get water with the GoPro. I do need to get some GoPro footage. No, my camera just came off. Something. Me too. Yeah. Did you put that little splendidly old hook on there? I didn't. That's the difference between those extra heavy hooks that I use. Get him, Abram. Yeah. Come on, I can already taste that tuna. All you gotta do is get him in the boat. Don't be pumping so hard, just reel right now. Point your rod out there that way. Keep that rod bent. There you go, real, real, real. Shark right behind him. Pump him, pump him. Pump him, pump him, pump him. Pump him, 
Not, are you kidding me? That stupid shark. Shark video. Well, all you shark lovers, <laughs> there's one for you. Like, give me a piece of them. Get him, Moose. <laughs> the dolphins. I got you, Lukey. You're not going to fall. Oh, no, the yeah, dolphins. Those dolphins. Lukey, turn around. Tell me what you saw. Dolphins over there. Look at them. I also saw a flying fish like that big. Look at that dolphin. Well, that was pretty neat. Little added bonus to today's fishing trip. <laughs> Lukey, that one's got a little baby like I got you. Look at that big one. Get him, Luke. Reel. Luke, 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 reel your rod. You got him all by yourself. Get him, Luke. Keep reeling, Luke. Reel, don't drop that rod. Reel, reel. reel. You still got him? Go. Luke, reel. Get away. Good job, Luke. Come on, come over here on this side. Come over here. Reel him. Don't stop reeling. Uh, reel, reel. Reel, quick. You've hooked him and everything on your own. I need, I need you got him coming. Here, reel. You keep quick. Like a little bit and I'll reel. He's helping you hold the rod so you don't lose it. I won't. All right, let go of it, okay, Mace. Man. All right, hardhead. Uh, this thing is <laughs> up at once. Uh, Come over here. Real, real. You almost you got, got him. You got him, Lucas, right here. Get the net, Dad. Get the net. Here he comes. Get the net. Oh, no. He came off right there. I've got one, buddy. Uh oh. You think you can land yours? I hope so. Hey, who's getting the bait ready? I think there's a big fish with this one. Uh oh, here he comes. Yes, coach with you in here. That's how you get him in the boat. Lukey, you did good though. I think you High come. five. Yeah. Dolphin tacos and tuna steaks for dinner. Big fish on, big fish on. Big fish. Two big fish? Yeah. Guys, we were just reeling our rods in and these fish came up and ate. Good fish. Big fish. Good fish. Here he comes, here he comes. What not to do? Get on him, Will! Get on him! <laughs> oh no! Oh no, what happened? Just Hold him up, Will! Will! Nice gaffer, ah. dolphin. That's what it's all about, boys. Miss, did you let that dolphin whoop you? No. No, no. All right, let's put him on in the ice. He just took his last swim. Thank you, fish. All right, we had one big one on about 25 pounds, and that was his cow. We caught the cow, and the bull came off. Still early. We're going to catch some more. Jake, stay near your rod. Who's fighting them, Jake? You? You got two fish on? All right, y'all, well, I was taking a nap on the way in. Now look, got a double hookup. Who's going to get it in first? What do you think you got, Jake, a bluegill? It felt like a sailfish at first, but now he's like... Abram, are you going to keep this one out of the shark's mouth? Yeah. You catch you a big one, Luke. Look at Luke. Four years old and gets his own rod and his own bait out, and he's already got a bait out in the water. I can see color. Do you have a bite, Luke? Abram, yours is a long ways out there. Jake, come on. You're winning the race right now, Jake. Uh oh, here he comes. Here he 
comes. Nice little skipjack tuna. In the boat he comes. Good job, Jake. Thank you. Good fish, buddy. Hold him up, Jake. Let's get him. Show everybody those cool lines on it. Quick, before the lines go away. I'll see those lines. That's when you know it's a skipjack. A lot of people throw these away or consider them trash. Get him! Get him, Abram! Came out to do a dolphin show and ended up doing a little tuna show. Hold him out. Oh, here he is. Oh, it's a big one. Get him in the boat. Good job, Abram. Thanks. Show everybody what you caught him on. Just a plain pink and white islander. Show him to me. Nice fish. Must be those lucky shorts you got. I know one thing, we got enough fish. Let's go to the house. All right, y'all, we came out here to do a dolphin show. Ended up turning it into a little lesser tuna, AKA skipjack tuna. We're headed to the dock. We'll see y'all there. What about the kayak in the way? Go for it, Loki, jump! And just like that, we're back, y'all. Caught a bunch of skipjack tuna, a bunch of nice dolphin, lost a big dolphin. Oh, would y'all look at that! I'm so sick of all the, where's your silver stag knives? Look, where's your, why don't you have a silver stag? Hey, tell your brother to get you a silver stag. Look, two of them. Don't want to hear it no more. One skipjack tuna, one nice dolphin. Show y'all how to clean them. Come right here by the fin. Make one good cut right down the middle. Done. Now I don't want to lay any of this fish that we're going to eat down on this cutting board because we're gonna eat it raw. So, I'll lay it there when I get inside. I'll deal with it after that. All right, so the line I was talking about is right down the middle. They've got a loin here and a loin across the back. See the difference? This is a belly loin, this is a back loin. We're eating the back loin. We'll eat this too, but tonight we're eating the back loin. Stick it in right here. Come just like that. Just like that. One perfect loin. Alright, we'll see y'all in the kitchen. Yeah, I know. We're supposed to be in the kitchen cooking, but we're not. We cooked last night. I rushed it. Tasted good. Didn't look good. So, we're at one of the coolest places in the Keys. I'm going to show y'all this. Then we're headed to my house and my kitchen. Once I get home and settled in, and I'm going to show y'all one of the best tuna dishes ever. So, y'all look at this. Hey, well, look That's how big that one is. Look, lean over and watch. All right, it's Abram's turn. Abram, get your back. Jake, don't let it go. You gotta get down there farther. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 
Oh, that's a big one. Jake, don't let it go. There it goes. Oh, one window's got that. Oh, I got that. Perfect. Dad, I did not expect it. Dad, I'm not going to have a Did you get that on video? Dad, you drop it in the water right there. Just drop it right there. Drop it. Tell me that wasn't awesome and worth the stop. All right, we are now headed back to Stewart, Florida to my kitchen. I'm gonna show y'all how it's done in my kitchen. All right, I'm gonna show you a dish, but I don't have anybody to film, so I'm gonna set the camera up and all you're gonna see is my hands and what I'm making. All right, we're gonna use these in a minute. But for right now, we got some avocado. Pop the seed out. Take the shell off. All right, got some mayonnaise, just regular mayonnaise. About that much. Some regular wasabi. About that much. Just gonna stir it up. You wanna stir it equally though, so you don't get in one bite a big chunk of wasabi and another bite not so much. You want it to be equal. A little bit of lemon. Or a little bit of lime. Now this is the tuna. They're not very big chunks because they weren't a big fish. I cooked a bunch yesterday, but I just didn't like how the footage came out. It was too cluttered at the house we were at. We were crammed in there, super nice house, awesome trip, but I wanted to do this right because this is such a good meal. Take one chunk of tuna. I want to cut it in chunks about that big, about half inch chunks. Now while I'm cutting up the rest, I want to take the tuna and put it in a regular bowl, take a bunch of lime. That'll just help with anything you might not want on there. The lime will kill any bad bacteria, which there shouldn't be because it's super fresh, one day old. Just gonna let that sit. Not long, just a little while. I'm gonna take the avocado. Cut it in about, I want it to be in the same size chunks as the tuna. And it don't have to be perfect. Some are gonna be bigger, some are gonna be smaller. Tell me that don't look good. Take the bowl. Till it looks like that. Just mix it up. You want to squeeze a little bit more lime? You can. About like that. All right, pickled ginger. You want to cut the ginger up pretty fine, not not crazy. In the bowl. Take the mayonnaise. I want to stir it all up. Now, typically I'd use my butter garlic because I love this stuff. But on this dish, just black pepper. And a little bit of kosher salt. Once you get it all mixed up just right, well, bam A little bit of seeds. Now, I'm sure some of y'all are thinking, wait, he's definitely going to do something else with it. Nope. That's all I'm doing with it. I'm going to fry some of these tortillas, though, so when Abram's mom gets here, Abram's in the room, by the way, taking a nap. Jake and Luke went with their mom, hadn't seen him in a week, so when Abram's mom gets here, 
we're going to eat. Simple, easy, pretty healthy, not 100% healthy. Very good though. Now I'll show you how to cook the tortillas. All right, so pretty much any brand of floured tortillas, soft flour tortillas will work. This stuff, I can't even describe to y'all how good it is. I just take, I don't know, four or five of them. About like that, and you're just cutting them into pie pieces. Now here's the trick that I wanna show y'all. Because you're gonna be scooping with them, take and cut the ends off. Cut the ends off because you're gonna be scooping with them. All right, now I'm gonna get my cast iron skillet out, put some grease in it, and show y'all how to fry these. All right, the good news is I just got my new camera fixed, called David, he helped me. Now y'all can hear much better. Got the chips rolling, everything else is done. And I cannot wait to eat. eat. Come here, everyone, and try it. Get you a chip. Give me your honest opinion. You gotta chew with your mouth shut too, unlike the last video you were in. Is it a, just not if it's really good. Okay, give your mom a bite. Details. He'll talk when his mouth isn't full. Just give your mom a scoop. That's skipjack tuna too. That is awesome. Guess what, Abram? We forgot to say grace. We gotta say grace real yeah. quick. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for allowing us to have a safe trip. And most importantly, thank you for allowing us to have a safe trip home and all that traffic. Thank you for dying on the cross to forgive us of our sins. Amen. Amen. Now, give us your opinion now that your mouth's not full. Is the flavor right? Yes. Do the chips, do the chips taste good? <gasps> Yeah. Moses, you want a bite? No. You like it, Mom? Yeah, this is awesome. Don't ever throw a skipjack tuna away is what I'm telling y'all. And these flour chips, I mean, you can do that with salsa, anything. So good. That is so good. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna eat more. So good. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for the positive comments. Until next time, we gone.